We got a win. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, that was so rough. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well. If you are not already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. It does mean a lot. We do post gameplay like twice a day has been our norm uh, as of the last like week or so. So there's a lot going on. Uh, you don't want to miss any of it. It's a really fun time. Thank you guys so much. Uh, all the new people here. Welcome. It's great to have you. Uh, today we are jumping into Is It Delver? in standard that is right delver is back uh delver of secrets obviously a really cool card it's a one mana one one that basically every turn you're going to reveal the top card or you look at the top card if it's an instant or sorcerer you can reveal it and that would transform it into a three two flyer now generally you see this card re really really take off in things like modern or uh popper even basically formats where you can really take advantage of it standard not usually the best place for it but you know what we're going to give it a shot because because I think it's going to be really fun. This does have a dragon kind of sub theme. We've got Ga uh, Galazeth Prismari as well as Goldspan Dragon here. Uh, Smoldering Egg, which can turn into a giant dragon and then things like Dragon's Fire. Bloodthirsty Adversary, another new card here that's going to allow us to play a lot of the instants and sorceries for, for free from our graveyard, essentially. Uh, very, very good. Expressive Iteration, giving us a little bit of draw, uh, as well as Selection, really. Shatter Skull Smashing, some removal. And then in the three drop slot, we do have Divide by Zero, which gives us some learn abilities here. Uh, Solid coming for a little bit of interaction, and then Prismari Command as well. At the very top end, of course, we have All Runs Epiphany, which is just fantastic. And then we do actually have <clears throat> both Den of the Bugbear, uh, as well as Hall of the Storm Giants, uh, for so a little bit of tech in the lands. Uh, obviously, Obviously, this is a much more kind of reactive deck in some ways and then it's also it feels aggro in some other way it's it's an odd one but we're going to give it a shot hopefully it's going to be a really fun time uh and if again if you guys do enjoy these videos please make sure you give them a little thumbs up it would mean a lot but let's jump into game one right now all right guys here we are for game number one now obviously we don't have a delver in this hand however uh we do have solid coming we've also got expressive iteration i think this is definitely worth keeping a uh, little bit more of a reactive hand but it should be fine uh and we'll see how it goes um also guys just uh as a quick note i did not create this deck one for one uh there are a couple cards i swapped out but the original list did come from mtg arena zone just as a quick heads up uh and so if you do want to check it out it is down below uh if if you are interested in uh checking it out i really like that smoldering egg that's going to give us a little bit of a uh defending presence here as needed uh there's also that though um i'm actually going to uh ah, nah we play out the smoldering egg let's give it a shot let's see how it goes uh we do need another blue source here at some point um obviously a lot of really interesting things that we can do if we get it uh hopefully so uh that expressive iteration may come in handy this upcoming turn um and i'm glad we played that line where we played the smoldering egg first in that regard okay um let's see all right uh so what we can do is actually just burn out one of these uh and that technically f slows them down but i think we need to develop our side a little bit more here so let's go ahead and throw a couple counters here um but one of them into our hand i think it's the shatter skull smashing uh, one into your library and one out. Uh, perfect. So let's go ahead. Let's play that blue source there. That is going to hopefully get us where we need to be. Um, how many of these counters do we need? Seven. We need seven counters. Uh, I think we can get seven counters. I think we can do it. Uh, Shatter Skull Smashing could do some work here. Um, being able, depending on what they play here, we might be able to hit one or two different things with it, which would be great. They're going to field trip. See what they learn um very interesting little just kind of mid-range ramp deck ish maybe a ren and seven style deck we'll see 
Uh, they can activate the chariot uh, to to go ahead and get in for an attack, but also then create an extra token. Very solid play for sure. Uh, and I think we just end up taking it. Um, we definitely want to get this flipped uh, as quickly as possible. I think there's no doubt about that. Okay, uh, that's actually not bad. All right, so what can we do? We can do a little bit here, actually. Um, what we're going to do is steal two damage, create a treasure. Oh, actually, no. Hold on. What am I thinking? What we're going to do is destroy target artifact and create a treasure. Uh, target a player, me, and this. We're going to get that off the field here. It's going to put some more counters there. Uh, and what this allows us to do is then if we would like, we can drag and fire to get rid of one of the tokens. Uh, and that also then flips the smoldering egg. Uh, decline. Go ahead and blow this up. Um, that's going to transform this, which is great. Uh, and we'll attack in here. We're not in huge danger of dying right away, so I feel like getting the damage in as quickly as we can is, is worth it. Um, oh, rude. All right, fair enough. So you have that Skyclave Apparition taking care of the egg. Uh, that's a little sad, but we'll see. Still no Delver. Um, <laughs> fun fact, the namesake card of the deck, and we just didn't get it, but that's okay. All right, sure. There is a Snarl. Hmm. All right, uh, well... I think the play is going to be to throw that out um, and probably just hold on to this. We can activate this for two, which really doesn't work. Uh, alternatively, we can throw this out. Again, I don't li love that. I think we're just going to leave out the solid coming here. No real reason to foretell the solid coming. Uh, it just makes it difficult to play. Perfect. All right, let's get that Ren and Seven out of there. That is a scary, scary card. We don't want to deal with it. Um, next turn, Shatter Skull Smashing should be able to do a decent amount. Uh, we could take out two things if we need to. There's a land. That's good. Uh, let's do that. All right, so we can do this for four, uh, which I think I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to deal it here and here. Like that. Uh, that's going to give us a two drop. Or no, yeah, excuse me. A, uh, a two two back. Uh, which just means that we can block here if we need to. It's not necessarily a great play, but it's, it's I think, the best we have. Another red and seven. You got it. Three, four, five, six. If we draw a land, we can actually uh, take an extra turn here. That would be helpful. Would be very helpful. Um, not the land we need. Not the land we need at all. Um, we should have just done this. That was a mistake. Uh, hmm. All right. So what can we do? Um, I think we express iteration. <laughs> One of them into our hand. We'll put you into our hands. Uh, I mean this and then this and we can't foretell well that's dumb um yep i mean we're pretty dead here we're gonna foretell this and that's about it i think we're just gonna die uh but we can i mean to be fair we have one more turn we can block this but that's not really great um <laughs> Ugh. This doesn't have trample, worth noting. All right. I really like this style deck, this like green, white, just mid rangey deck. Uh, let's counter, because we literally have to, otherwise we do die. All right. There's the chariot. Very good. Ooh. This did not go well. This did not go well at all, everyone. Um. I think there's a very good reason why we don't see Delver decks on the best of one ladder at the moment. I um, also think we didn't really draw super well. We haven't. We drew a lot of counter magic, which was kind of good. Um, I mean. 
We're gonna Epiphany. Uh, which is only semi-helpful. Uh, we'll throw this out, because there's no reason not to. And then we take our extra turn, yay! Uh, oh! Huh, okay. Um, how much does this help, if at all? <laughs> we can do it, let's see, one, two, we can do it twice. I'm gonna do this, we're just gonna see what happens. We're not gonna win, by no means can we win this, but uh, let's auto pay and let's auto pay. All right, so we definitely want you uh, and I guess it's just this. I don't know. I mean, we're dead. There's no doubt. Um, destroy target artifact and deal two damage, I guess. Um, this and this. Let's do this and take this out. All this is really cool and all, but we're still super dead. <laughs> uh, that felt really good, though. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Very, very strong. Um, all right. So we don't attack. What? Storm the Festival? Oh my gosh, that's such a good card. Holy crap. Uh, yeah. Dude, that card is ridiculous. I didn't even see that card. Storm of the Festival. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You can put two permanents. Wow. I mean, that's like very difficult to whiff in a deck like this because you just get a land, I guess, right? It's It can hit lands. So like worst case scenario, you do that and you get extra value off of it anyway because you're a land deck. Dude. That's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I like that a lot. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, we're, we're not gonna win this. Uh, we do get another turn, I think. Yeah, we get another turn. All right, opponent, what you doing, homie? Uh, this is only gonna be three games, I'm betting. Uh, uh, I'm I'm just assuming. Is this our first game? I don't even remember. I have no idea. Um, I think this is still our first game. That's ridiculous. All right. Uh, opponent just kind of chilling. I don't know if they're not sure they're going to win or what this is. Chances are they are going to win. Uh, so I'm a little confused as to why they're slow rolling us here. That's interesting. Um... All right. They're going to attack with these two two twos. Uh, so we block a two two and we block this and we take two. There's a gold span dragon, a great card. Um, but is it enough? No. All right. So what's the best possible option here? Um, we can throw this out at them. Uh, which is a 7-7, seven, seven, but it just kind of doesn't matter. Alternatively, we could play Goldspan Dragon, which still doesn't matter. We're just dead, so whatever. Um, let's just do this. <laughs> and we die. All right, uh, we're going to concede. Let's jump into the next game. All right, guys, here we are for our next game. Again, I don't remember how many we've played. Um, <laughs> oh, this hand is weird. I'm going to mulligan. Uh, yeah, I will keep this. I think we throw a snarl back. Uh, snarl's not that great if we don't have basic lands, so it seems kind of useless. Let's throw one out now. Uh, we can play the hall, though, this coming turn and drop some some stiff uh sure we'll do that uh the question is do we want to egg or do we want to saw it coming um i think the play is going to be to leave up the saw it coming next turn potentially the trick is this is a, a very difficult thing we can't block this anyway so like throwing the egg out there is good very good but it's not really that helpful um what we can do if we draw a red source is just burn this out. 
Um, but we'll see. I mean, alternatively, we can just bounce it, uh, which isn't a bad play, honestly. It slows them down a good bit because it looks like that's kind of all they're going to do. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to pay the three. We're just going to burn this thing out here. Uh, hopefully they don't have like a snakeskin veil or something. I kind of doubt it. Doesn't look like this is the style deck to have that, but that's helpful. Um, just gets that off the field. We did have to take some massive damage to do it, but I think it's okay. Next turn we can drop Prismari. Oh, that's super scary. Well, now I wish we had left up the saw it coming. Um, <laughs> is there a world where we can actually do something about this? Uh, chances are no. So we can return that. That doesn't seem that great. That is instant speed, though, so I guess we do just wait. Uh, we'll end the turn. We can, again, divide by zero as they go to combat, um, which would be helpful. They might just have a counter spell, though. Let's bounce. Uh, we are going to get to learn here as well, which is quite helpful. Um, uh... I'm gonna take this. I don't know that that's environmental sciences might have been the right play, but that's fine. Um, they're just gonna replay Goldspan. That's fine. Wish we had had an extra mana. Oh my gosh. Um, we are not getting super lucky, uh, but that's okay. Hmm. I think we just pass. We've got Prismari and saw it coming, so I think we're just going to wait and see what they do. Uh, we do have Introduction to Annihilation for the Goldspan Dragon next turn. So we're going to want to play some of this stuff as quickly as we can here. All right, so we definitely counter that. Uh, yeah. We take five, or four, excuse me which is terrible. Um, so we can't do both here. Uh, I mean, we just have to. There's like no other play that we can do. Um, we could have, I guess, tried to hold off for a turn, but I just feel like that's not a good play. Uh, I'll turn, I mean, we could have played that and then tried to kill it in a weird roundabout way. That we can deal with, um, which is helpful. Let's do this. Um, do we play the Smoldering Egg? I don't think so. I think we're going to wait. We can wait on the Prismari command as well. We don't have to just run it out here. Um, we're trying to play smart, and it's only kind of working. Um, Oh, uh, interesting. We're going to deal two. Um, and I think we're going to do this. We're going to deal two here, and then we're going to draw. We kind of just need stuff. <laughs> um, so I feel like this is worth it. We're going to get this off the field. All right. Um, I think we get rid of the egg. As much as I love the egg, it's just not really going to do much um, in this matchup, I don't think. It would if it was to flip, but we're so far behind at this point that I just don't think it's worth it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> so we can activate this. That doesn't seem super... I mean, we can attack for seven here, but that doesn't seem great. We're just going to have to hold off. If they just have a burn spell, we die. So there's not really... I mean, we have the solid coming, so I guess we don't just die, but, like, we're pretty close here. Yep. We're going to counter the creative outburst, that's for sure. Oh, look. <laughs> the Delver! Uh, yeah, let's just do this. We're going to auto pay. We're going to attack him for seven. I mean... 
really this leaves us as open as we could possibly be but who cares we're gonna do it we're we're pretty dead here anyway um seriously they did that just for the delver <laughs> sure all right we're gonna do it again <laughs> okay i'm not saying i'm not saying anything other than the fact that i'm just amazed we got him down to six if we die this turn, we die this turn. There we go. We're dead. All right. Well done, opponent. It's fine. Let's jump into one final game. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys. This is going to be our final game. Do we like this hand? It's not amazing, but I am going to keep it. Uh, we've got a three into four into five, so I feel like that's probably worth it. And really a two into three because we can all Ron's epiphany, like foretell it, uh, which then gives us a six. So... I don't know, we'll see. It may not work, but we're gonna try it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Opponent playing a snow cover mountain and then nothing, nothing. Wow, my voice just kind of went out there. Um, fully expecting a frostbite deck. Okay, is it? That's fun. Uh, looks like we might be playing a very similar deck to them. Uh, let's throw this out. We have divide by zero up here um, and that's about it. But that's a pretty good play honestly very interested to see what happens here i feel like this is a, a matchup where interaction would be great like if we had a solid coming right now i feel a lot better um okay i'm gonna let that happen is this giants this is giants what I mean, sure, I guess. Um, we're going to play Prismari out here. There's no reason not to. Um, I mean, yeah, we might lose it, I guess, but that's fine. We still get a treasure token, which is great. That allows us to all runs Epiphany next turn if we'd like. So, all right, they're going to foretell one more time. Um, I'm going to throw this out on red here. Let's all runs Epiphany. Uh, fully expect they could counter this. Okay, they didn't. That's great. Uh, that's a very early epiphany, which is really good. Um, let's throw you out. Let's throw you out. Uh, we're doing this in a very specific way to potentially be able to leave up the dragon's fire here. They're gonna counter, or kill this, which gives us this. Um... And what we're going to do is return this to our hand. <laughs> we get a treasure token in response, and what do we need? Um, it's probably just this, truthfully. Uh, okay. So we burned their burn spell, uh, which feels pretty good. Uh, we left Goldspan Dragon in the hand, essentially, and we got Mascot Exhibition, plus like two damage out. I mean, that's okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, we can dragons fire that, so that's totally cool. All right, they've got one land up. Hey, look, a Delver. <laughs> um, I guess to do this efficiently, nah, we'll just do this. Decline, we'll just do that. Doesn't We don't have to reveal it, it doesn't really matter. I guess we could in case they have a pump spell, but I feel like a pump spell in a giant's list seems a little redundant. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, but this should be able to deal with that. We can drop this down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we can also drop the Delver off of this, um, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and then next turn, the mascot exhibition obviously can come down, but Goldspan Dragon Man, just such a good card. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Delver out. We've already got the mana for the mascot exhibition. We don't need any extra treasure tokens here. So at this point, it's just a matter of like, let's let's finish this game off as quickly as we can. Um, now, could they have a sweeper? Maybe. Uh, but this is a giant's list, so I don't know. Okay. So they can double up on this. Sure. 
I mean, that's very good. Uh, but that's even better. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, alternatively, though, I mean, we just go for this. Attack him for seven. I mean, this is on its own is a two turn clock. So like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, I guess we could have attacked with the bird as well. That was kind of dumb, but either way, um, we don't have to risk anything, and they really can't do that much. Uh, decline. Uh, when it attacks, we sacrifice to any target. Okay. Uh, very good card. Um. Again, I think we just go for this. Um, we'll attack with both of these now, uh, and we can just play the Delver out. This just really like kind of solidifies that if we do have an Incinor Sorcerer on the top of our deck, we should be fine. Um, I mean, it's not a guarantee, but we do have Goldspan Dragon plus three other creatures, so at this point, I feel pretty confident Sure. You got it. All right. Give me something. Oh, yes, please. Reveal and reveal. All right, cool. We're just going to drop Goldspan. And then... We got a win. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh, that was so rough. Oh. That was awful. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's chat about this. Okay, so Delver in standard. Well, we really didn't get to see a lot of just Delver. Um, I feel like this isn't truly a Delver deck, to be brutally honest. I think it can be if you get it early, but like it didn't feel like it was built around Delver. It felt like it was built around just like, is it mid range and Goldspan Dragon, uh, which is good. Don't get me wrong, but I think it's a bit of a I don't know. I mean, again, this was a pulled list. It was classified as an Is It Delver list. And I thought, you know what? Let's try that out. That'd be kind of fun. And it just didn't feel like Is It Delver. Um, I think it, given some more sample set, maybe it could. But overall, it doesn't seem that great. I feel like um, Delver doesn't, at this point, doesn't seem to add that much. Now, there's probably a different build with Delver that would make a lot more sense. Um, but I think it's really difficult because you don't have things like Brainstorm and Standard. You don't have a lot of different stuff that can kind of fix the top of your deck in a way that makes Delver flip, uh, which is really why Delver is so good is that you can consistently flip it. Uh, you saw it even there in that last game. We, for a couple turns, didn't have it. Um, it, it couldn't flip. So regardless, it's a fun build. Uh, I love Is It builds. It's always a great time to be able to throw a Goldspan Dragon in people's faces and uh, take extra turns with the Epiphany. Uh, so I did enjoy it. But I do think this deck is better off maybe without Delver. That's a that's a bold statement, but uh, I think that might be the case. Regardless, it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. It'd be great to have you as our community, so feel free to subscribe as well. Uh, also, guys, next Monday, uh, or this coming Monday, we are giving away our Innistrad Midnight Hunt bundle. So... Uh, that uh, is going to one lucky subscriber on one of the five channels, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, or Discord. So if you're following slash subscribe slash join on any of those, uh, you're entered to win. So good luck to you guys. Thank you guys so much. I will see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos.